Judgment Hall. It took a while, a long time. This kid, man the tough, but they got dunked. I remember how tired I was, looking down at them hatefully. They took everything I ever had. No one survived. They looked so broken. Then again, before all this began, they already were. I just wish I had known about this whole thing. I never enjoyed taking a life. Ain't no one I knew who did. But I think it took a little glee from this. I'm sorry to admit. Now all I had to do was scope the bag and go home. Nothing would have been there though. Well, I guess that was a lie. I would have been alone, but we'll get to that. I was a bit confused when I looked down at the body. I really expected them to reset, but the kid refused. So I went with it. As far as I knew, I had dismantled them for good. I remember brushing their heads to the side. Man, I felt a chill crawling on my arm. I quickly grabbed the bag. I knew their soul was in pieces. I remember thinking, this is Tori's bag. I didn't know what Frisk needed. God, I wish I knew. No, I guess I should have expected the backup knife. It still shook me a little. <laughs> Needless to say, to hell with that. I was more into the other thing. A freaking book? I mean, the murder weapon, yeah, but this? Frisk. I tried not to let it bug me. I just wanted to head home. I wish I'd read it sooner. But I guess first was the only enemy for me. I'd invade their privacy in my own time. I just wanted to catch up. I guess though, that I missed an opportunity by not seeing straight through the kid. I'm sorry. Snowden was hell without everyone else. The evacuation seemed pointless now. Getting a look at my house hurt my heart. I knew Pap was gone. As empty and dull as it was, I knew it was a lie. I planned on reading the book, but it was like, I don't know, I wanted to read it in company, you'd, you'd think. It was impossible, but, but it wasn't. Everyone was dead, but not. As I've said before, they weren't really gone. No monster wants to acknowledge the fact that in order to absorb a soul, you have to do it physically. Eating them, I mean. Monsters can't absorb monsters, save for humans. So they just stayed how they were with me. Souls don't last without something to occupy. When I found them, I, I couldn't let them fade. So we fought together. They gave me help. And if saving my family meant holding on, Fine, I'd do it. Until I could configure my machine to restore their bodies, they deserved to know. To read with me. To know why they died. But what we saw made no freaking sense. It gave me chills. So I had to be careful. Scribbles. Desperate, clawing scribbles. Like a toddler would me. Looked to be mad enough. The next page was like that too. Jeez. I felt my stomach knotted up. Something wasn't right. It was on every single page. Until... The very last one. That's when I broke. In a second, everything came crashing down on me. I heard what they said. The voices were scared. And awful to hear. But damn book wasn't done yet. Frisk. God, Frisk. I... I just... Sorry. Got a bit... dreary. It rose from my hands. It felt the souls fidget. But they weren't the only ones. The book had one more secret. A baby. A child's soul. An injured soul. I remember wondering, is it yours, Frisk? I didn't understand how this was possible. How was this possible? A book containing a soul? And an injured one too. They looked so broken, rolling right into my arms. I, 
was shaking pretty hard. The kid was so tired, so unconscious. I could feel a shattered spirit curl in my hands. But I wasn't shaking because of that. I was scared because of what I had to do. I didn't want to. God, how I didn't. If they stayed out here, someone would find them, kill them, without ever knowing what first went through. But if I consumed them, they would disappear. They were too weak to last much longer. I had to decide. But the second I looked at them, I just... I wanted only to protect them. I had to take that chance and keep myself... keep control of myself. But if this was happening, I was gonna watch and keep them under surveillance. I couldn't help it. Tears came back. Because if I killed them this time, I would be doing it consciously. I didn't feel like the same person I used to be. It felt awful. It felt... gross. When I shoved the soul in my mouth, I wanted to spit it out again. But I was only trying to keep them close, to protect them. I waited and watched. It went alright. They seemed safe as they went. It seemed that the others were coming up to meet Frisk. But the moment Frisk even entered my stomach, with the twisting knot beginning to form. It hurt. A lot. It latched onto Frisk. I tried to rob them of his soul. The pain for both of us was unbearable. Something was going wrong and I couldn't. I couldn't stop it. Was this how a human soul was supposed to be absorbed? God, I was so scared. I didn't even... I didn't know how to stop it. I had to. I had to try. <sighs> Frisk. Hey. Just... Hang on, buddy. I fell off the couch, unable to breathe or think. <laughs> the pain was too much. I thought maybe I could suppress the absorbing. But I guess I was wrong. Oh, Frisk. I... I'm so sorry. I let you down. Frisk. 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 Kiddo, once let a pup is bad enough, but I never meant... I lay on the floor grieving for this kid. This kid I wish I'd known. But the pain ebbed. My stomach felt light. I could breathe again. They moved toward Frisk in a quick fashion. Panicky. Soon, Frisk was smothered by the souls, the not being forced back. They they broke the process. They stopped it for me. For Frisk. I sat up in a daze. My head was so dizzy. Frisk? But there was no measurement of my relief. It was so thick in my bones. Frisk! Thank God, kid! Jeez, you gave me quite the scare. We should probably get some rest. After what I just happened. I just... Wow. wow. Besides being in shock, I felt the remains of anxiety. Sleep? Didn't sound too bad. Old habits die hard, I guess. I kept thinking about Frisk. I felt sick. What would have happened if the others hadn't been there? Would this kid have ceased to exist? <sighs> Messy. How I left it. I doubt that sleep would come so easy now. I felt uneasy. Damn it, Sans, seriously. It may come as a surprise, but I'm an insomniac. So, sleep doesn't uh, come easy for me. I have to take constant naps, and my anxiety for this kid wasn't really helping. I know that the moment I stopped caring, everything will go to hell. So, first, what will happen if I closed my eyes? I was so paranoid that I would lose them. But you know, love is strange. It could kill you or make you stronger. Which love you ask? Well, doesn't matter. We did good, Frisk. Whatever happens, we'll all be all right. The peace didn't last. Sans. Frisk! Sans? Whoa, you've, uh, been busy. What even is this place? Oh, God. Frisk? 
Frisk! They seem to be in some state of stasis. I recall W.D. Gaster being in that same deep sleep. But I just ran. I was so overwhelmed with joy that I didn't even want to think. Frisk! Frisk, I'm here. I'm here now. Everything's gonna be fine. They were coming too. My chest was about to explode. They yawned. They were so soft, so quiet, unlike the monster that held them hostage. I felt myself gently taking their arms as they shifted out of sleep. Hey, hey, it's gonna be fine, kid. Open your eyes for me. Being the stupid person I was, I thought I could fix this. Frisk, don't worry. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm here to help. But how can you help someone who suffers from PTSD? You've got the look of someone who's died three times. <sighs> there was no fixing what had already been broken. Kid, it, it's okay. It's okay. Listen, just relax. Take a breather. I'll come to you, <laughs> no! okay? Wait! It'll be alright, kid. See, I... It's gonna be okay. I'm not gonna let anyone hurt you. You dirty brother killer. First kid, you gotta relax. <laughs> Let me give you- No! No, no just, just get, get away from, from me! Please, please just, just stop! stop. Don't, don't touch me! me. Just, just don't! Please, please don't hurt me. Kid. First, first, I- I don't want to hurt you. Don't you get it, kid? Kid. They didn't speak a word. I don't think they could manage it anyway. <laughs> I figured out pretty quick that the condition was nothing short of horrific. I wanted to help, but it was more on how. How could you approach someone who is definitely afraid of being approached? The answer? You can't. But, well, we already made it clear that I'd go through hell and back for this runt. Thank you. Alright, kid. Lay it out for me. What do you need? I want to help you out. I turned to a familiar persona. Comic Sans. <laughs> Still gets me. But I guess that this would be a long, painful process. No kidding. I could pretty much feel the fear. <laughs> Kid, look at me. I want to see you. The real you. Not this... shell of yours. You know Turtle. I've seen the buggers a million times and they don't look like a hypothetical <laughs> short-haired little punk who thinks this is comedian is scary. <laughs> Sound familiar? But seriously, kiddo. Please, let me help you. Come on, kid. <laughs> huh? I realized that humor, while being a damn good medicine, couldn't heal their symptoms so easily. My resolve was breaking. <laughs> Well, you can't blame me for trying, huh, kid? I tried to keep it on my face, but even first knew I couldn't keep smiling. I done goofed, and I'm not just talking about in this dream I was having. Sorry, kid. I guess I thought. I tried. What? What do you mean? The hell? Uh, Come on. Sam, you have to leave. Everything began to crumble. Kid, let go. I, I need to see. No, Sam, you don't get it. You have to- you've got to leave now! This is the monster that's been Sans, it's my soul! I can't sustain you! I'm broken! Sans! What? Look around! My you God. can't stay! <gasps> Sans! Watch out! Yeah! Sans! You know, falling would have come as a surprise. Except that, to an extent, I could cheat out of it. It was dark, obviously. Nothing like I'd seen before. So I was careful as I tried to slow my descent. It was calm, silent. Chris's soul. God, there was in no immediate danger, but still. Frisk, damn it, kid. Why didn't I put two and two together? Obviously, you were injured. Frisk? Frisk, can you hear me? Please! Frisk, answer me! Please, kid! Please. But there was no response. Except... Sans, who, 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 who's there? If you hurt them, I swear to God, Sans, I'll... Sans, don't be foolish. 
look around. What the hell? Who are you? A friend. I am trying to help. Don't you know how to greet an old friend? Turn around and shake my hand. Good man. <sighs> you haven't changed a bit. It's been a while, hasn't it? I'd uh, ask how you've been, but, well, you know how it is. Uh, do not worry, my friend. It is not formalities I seek. But, in any case, I am glad to see you in good company. Six souls, I sense. Uh, yeah, it's a long story. Please don't scare me like that. Don't indulge yourself in the story for my sake, friend. I admit, it is a peculiar, though. Damn it, just stop! Why are you here, Gaster? Well, I only wanted to guide you. The soul is in great agony. An agony that granted you an audience with them. So, I wish to show you the value of human determination. Wait, you dragged me down here for that? Seriously? Patience, my friend. This is how to help your human child. They're not my- <sighs> Just show me. First of all, do not underestimate me. What are you doing? Relax, Papa Bones. I am letting the souls undo the damage of your presence. Of course, me being there must have made Frisk unstable. Do you know why their soul is weak? I killed them, that's why. Quite wrong. After some time, they forced their soul to split from the corrupted half, to escape you. Then, the soul that was in Frisk's body, before I killed him, I mean, it was that demon's. That explains why there wasn't a reset. Quiet. So currently, this is where we're at. Frisk is free to return to their body. There is, however, a problem. What is it? Reload after reload. I'm sure Frisk realized they couldn't get you to understand. They lost hope. They lost determination. So they hid away in the closest object. Damn it! So their injuries as a soul are not lethal. But add to that a loss of determination. And there lies our problem. Without determination, an injured soul is fragile. If Frisk should feel unworthy of life when returned to their body, their soul will oblige. Friend, are you feeling well? I feel the <laughs> soul's instability. I feel odd. I did this. I hurt this innocent kid. I hurt them, Gaster. I don't even know if I can help them. And from the way things are going, I don't know if I should. I know. I know, Sans. The emotions of the souls are conflicting with yours. Conflicting? You mean, they're affecting me? It has no relevance. As long as you feel the same way, Frisk has a chance. Use the soul's magic to keep Frisk alive. In that time, their injuries will heal. But determination, not so easily. What can I do about that? Give them a reason to live, to want to try again, and in that, you'll find a solution. Hmm, makes sense. Thanks, Gaster. Don't worry, kid. I'll take good care of you. Oof. Um, oh yeah, that's right. It was a dream. Well, at least we can help you now, kiddo. Ugh. Leave it to me to sleep so awkwardly. I must have slept like the dead. <laughs> yeah, they just tickled my ribs. I may be a funny bone, but being tickled is not a humorous matter. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god. Holy sh- <laughs> What are you even- Oh my god, seriously, kid. <laughs> what are you- Just- Just, just, just stop for a minute. <laughs> what are you doing? There? Yeah. They were bouncing off the walls, literally. The movement was no punchline. The souls were dragging around in Frisk's strange run. 
uh, I tried to relate the kid's behavior to what I'd seen. Frisk, you're afraid. What could be making you so panicked? Then a brief thought occurred to me. I thought of the area that I had seen Frisk in. I had been in the soul, which could only mean that Frisk would have no idea their soul was actually with me. All that they knew was that they had seen me fall. No wonder they were in a panic. So the only communication we have is magic. <laughs> you learn more about the human soul every day. No worries though. Nothing a little blue can't handle. Hey, hey don't know if you can hear me, me but, but uh, I'm, I'm good, good, you know. Sans. I'm okay. okay. Just, Just uh, had a bad, bad time. <sighs> Thank God. Besides, Besides, we've got, we've got, got a way to bring you back. back. And, uh, personally, personally I, wouldn't I wouldn't want to miss out on that. Because, kid, kid, you've you got, got some explaining to do. God damn it. Just, ugh. I feel like an idiot. What the hell did I let it happen? <sighs> Time to work. First things first, making you habitable again. I, I can't believe I went so far. Then comes you, bucko. And the magic to keep... You hold an eye. Feels comforting, doesn't it? Come on, kid. Just open your eyes. I'm here, buddy. I'm here. Sans, I... I... I didn't... I didn't mean it. I... I didn't want... It's okay, Frisk. You... You can cry. There's, uh, no shame in it. <laughs> you have every right. But, but, I, I, I need to... No need to explain, I know. Just trust me, okay? Okay. <laughs> I... <laughs> just breathe. Look, I hate to have to ask this, but... Do you remember anything as a soul kid? Fuzzy. Sans, I... I think that it's someone else is hmm? here. <laughs> I'm scared. But there's no one here but us, baby bones. I don't sense anyone. But, uh, hey, if it's discretion you want, I might know a place. You might, uh, actually know it. What's discretion mean? Up we go. B but where... <laughs> where are we going? What if I'm seen? <laughs> no prob. I've got a shortcut. Sans, where are we? What is this place? Well, I'm not special like you, kiddo. Can't reset, but I can do this. Jumping through the code is pretty tough, though. So... We're teleporting? Well, if that's true, can I ask you something? Shoot, kid. There's this place. It, uh... It means very much to me. I have to do something there. Mm -hmm. Please, Sans. I have to do this. Where is it? Uh, um, well, it's, uh... <laughs> that place? <laughs> and I thought you were being serious. I was being serious. Oh, well, if that's it, I guess we could pit stop there. What are you doing? What is happening? I... Uh... Hey, kid, hold up, wait! N no, just, just let me go, give me some space. What did you see, kid? N nothing, I I'll be right back. Oh, oh, jeez, kid, I I'm sorry, didn't mean to scare you. It it's fine, just let me go get it. It? As I waited for them, I kept wondering, why was this old, dirty thing so... important? It had been around forever. It wasn't anything special, so why the need to act here? Huh? What do you got there, kiddo? Something good. They looked... <laughs> renewed. Defiant, almost. But not at me. Watching them smile over that statue, listening to it, wow. 
It made me realize just how sweet their soul really was. That they couldn't hurt anyone. Kid, I've uh, got to say, you've made a statue really happy. He made me happy too. I feel a little better now. Let's go. So, where are we going? Grillbees, of course. Really, Sans? Grillbees? Hey, when your town is evacuated, we'll eat what you want. I... I'm a bit cold. It, is it always this windy? We're almost inside. Just stick it out, okay? There, see? That wasn't so bad, was it? Though I can't say much since I'm a skeleton. <sighs> Wish I had brought my big coat. <laughs> yeah. That'd be a good idea. Man, this place is weird without everyone. It almost feels wrong. But hey, works in our favor, doesn't it? Well, sorta anyway. <laughs> you coming, you slowpoke? Or should I carry you there? I, I was only looking around. I, I can walk, you know. But I appreciate the offer. <laughs> okay, kid. We're gonna do this nice and slow, okay, kitty? I'm gonna ask small questions. Oh, okay. I think I, I can do that. So, how old are you, Frisk? I'm eight and a quarter. A eight? Uh, wow, kid, you're old. While I joked, I was trying not to think, holy Christ, I murdered an eight-year-old three times. Obviously, I failed. Badly. But I did think about it. And the more I did, the more I realized, not only did I use my full power, I also used the souls on a goddamn innocent baby. Sans? What are you doing? Sans? In the heat of the moment, I'm not sure what came over me. I can't really think of the last time I'd felt so goddamn weak. I could have known. I could have known. But I didn't. Do you have a stomach ache? It's funny how one innocent question could make me grin like an idiot. Oh my god. <laughs> Kid, you have no idea. You seriously don't. Clearly. There was no way around it. I had to ask them. Putting that aside, how did you get mixed up with the demon and the talking flower, kid? If you don't mind me asking. Kid? I... I was so... stupid. When I fell, I just... I was so scared. I had only heard of this place in bedtime stories. They spoke of monsters under the bed, meaning underground. But then, I met Flowey. He was so nice and friendly. I guess it's kind of weird, but... The talking Flower made me feel better. So when he asked me for a favor, I, I wanted to help. I... I still can't... Take your time, kid. <laughs> he... He said... That his friend fell too. And that they wanted to go home. He asked me to take them with me, so that they could die in their garden. I was sad for them, but I accepted. But, but it was, it was a lie. I, I can't think of the last time I was hurting so bad. I felt like, like I was, was on fire. Like my incense were melting. I wanted to throw up, but I didn't have any control. The last thing I did, did was open my eyes wide enough when I screamed. I can't believe I just... I killed all those sweet monsters. And I couldn't move or scream. I couldn't stop them. And I saw that scared look in their eyes. The same fear I had. I was so stupid. An idiot. <laughs> you were right, weren't you? <laughs> Kids like me should be burning in hell. <laughs> if kids like you are burning in hell, Seems then big bone guys like me better damn well make sure you burn nothing but marshmallows. 
and <laughs> don't get burned out while you're at it. Kid, let's be honest here. There's no feasible way I can properly take everything back, but I noticed that you like music. I saw your face at the statue, so maybe I can make up for what I've done to write over a bad save for the good. So let's try to forget about our hell right now, kid. Here we go. Uh, let's go in the garden. You'll find something waiting right there where you left it, lying upside down. When you finally find it, you'll see how it's faded. The underside is lighter when you turn it around. Everything stays right where you left it. Everything stays, but it still changes. <laughs> So slightly, daily and nightly, in little ways, when everything stays. You don't have to decide right now, kid. It, isn't this what you wanted, though? Of course, but these things take time, you know? And you haven't really had time to heal. I want you to feel more at ease before you decide anything. So let's just put this away for now, okay? I'm sorry! Sans, are you okay? Talk to me, please! <sighs> oh, kid. It, it, I'm okay. It just startled me. That's right. We can't, uh, <laughs> make your choices for you. We? Sans, there's something under your shirt. Don't bother with it. Mm. I'm warning you now, kid. You won't like it. I said stop! <gasps> the, the, the souls! What did... Sans ate them. Sans, you... I, I can't even... Why? They're so... Kid, listen. You couldn't eat me too, Sans? <laughs> After what you did the first time? I don't think so, kid. Why are you offering? Uh, uh, that was a joke. I don't believe you. All those stories were true. The monsters under the ground that would eat us? I can't. I won't. Wait. Let me explain it, okay? Just hold it. Wait! Frisk, wait! Damn it. You, you don't get it. All your life you've been crowded by bad people. You wonder if Flowey was right. Are you too naive? You were scared. <laughs> you were alone. You were... Ah! Just another soul everyone craved. <laughs> Dolores Gate. I I w wanted to call her mom, but Chara wanted to kill her. Did Toriel want my soul too? Was everything a big fat lie? Howdy, Frisk, was it? Or at least it's what Smiley says. So. You understand now. Monsters were banished for a very good reason. Delicious invite, isn't it? <laughs> Doesn't help that smiley trash bag showed his true colors, does it? Why are you not speaking? Don't you get how to make a deal? We can make this world right. Together. Partner. I'll protect you from him. From everyone. And we'll play it safe. Together, partner. Frisk, 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 please! You'll, you'll die out here, and that isn't, isn't any punchline. Punch Let me help you. Give me control, and we'll destroy this world, him included. Frisk! I know you're scared of Smiley Trash Bang. Unhand me, comedian! Do to anyone what's been done to me, and especially not by you. Oh, ho, 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 ho. man, did I want to kill the weed. But with Frisk right there, no. Leave. Now. <sighs> Fine. Trash. Are you okay, kid? I heard what he said. Some of it. 
It was pretty cool you refused. Doesn't matter. I want to die how I am right now. I'm not going to kill you, you know. And I should believe you? I'm going to guess that you didn't read too much on souls, did you? Who reads when they're being possessed? Eh, good point. Um, look, I know that you must be a little bit scared, to say the least, about stuff you can't really understand, or even about stuff that's unfamiliar. But uh, the thing is, something scary me can just seem misunderstood. Just like you, Frisk. Not that I'm blaming you for what happened, but I mean, I guess I'm asking you to understand the unfamiliar kiddo. Hell knows I did. But how do I know that whatever you tell me isn't going to be a lie? <laughs> I knew you probably wouldn't take my word for it. Guess it's a good thing I decided to get this on the way. A book? It explains about souls and circumstances like these. I can't absorb monster souls. Humans can't with their own. I'm just trying to keep them alive, you know? Please, kid. You can read it later. It's freezing out here and it's getting dark. I won't hurt your baby bones. Believe me, I've learned my lesson. You promise? I promise. After I walked Frisk back to my house, I gave him Pap's bed. It was... nice to have someone else here. Maybe I'm not sure that the kid was okay, but they needed to sleep so badly. So I guess I wasn't expecting to be woken up. Sans? Huh? What's up, kid? Well, I... I was reading this, but it, uh, it has a lot of big words. Yeah, okay. Come here, buddy. Okay. I heard this excuse before, back when Pap and I were small. Papyrus would pretend that his books were hard to read. It really meant I had a bad dream and I don't want to be alone. So I went along with it. We went through the book and just as I thought, Frisk had no trouble. But there was another reason why they visited. Sans, can I see the souls again? Huh? You sure? I mean, from earlier... Well, no. I, I mean, yes, but, but I... Uh, I... I'm so... I'm sorry. For what? I ran away. I, I didn't want to freak out. I just... was so scared. And I... I didn't want to listen to what you had to say. Be because... Hey, it's okay, you know? As long as you're not hurt. Well, you wanted to see him, right? Hey. Hey, wait. You okay, kiddo? You seem a little... Uh... <laughs> did this to them. I did. <laughs> Holy shit. What? No. No, you didn't do this, kiddo. I did. I hurt them real bad. But I promise I'm gonna save them too. Yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna do what I can to make it up to them. To help. I noticed something different in that moment. Then tomorrow we'll go down to my lab in the basement. There's something I want to show you. Then I understood exactly what it was. The determination came home. For a while, kiddo, the machine hasn't been working. I thought maybe it, that it needed dust to collect, since we're pretty much all dust, but... Then I got thinking. Back before the war, humans and monsters relied on each other. Humans for their determination, and monsters for their magic. This old machine is one of the many results of that cooperation. So, this machine needs your determination to get started. But from there, it can duplicate the dust inside and recreate a body. All you have to do is offer their souls your love. You know which one I mean. What do you say? Y you ready to bring them home? Yeah, I'm, um, a little nervous. Oh, why's that? Frisk. I heard them, Sans. I mean, what if... Return the favor. I, I wouldn't stop them, but I, I wish I could just tell them. Hey, kid. Now, why would I let something like that go? I made a promise, kid. I won't break it. Now, let's undo Chara's big mess, shall we? Yeah. Please let this work.
Yeah, come on, come home. I believe in you. Please, come home, for Sans. Yeah, you're almost there. It, Just a little more, uh, Pappy. Sans. Virus. Human. Uh, well, I guess I can't blame you for your laziness now. Can I? Bam! Sans! Human! I'm so glad you are safe. The Great Papyrus would not stand for otherwise. And human! You have my cool scarf! <laughs> See, I knew you could do better. Papyrus. Bro. Sans, I missed you. Even if I was right there with you, I missed your stupid puns. I missed you smiling. Oh, so cute. But at least your lazy bones did a job that's not half asked for once. <laughs> <laughs> Just shut up and hug me back. Yeah? I am my brother back. <laughs> <laughs> now it was time for everyone else. My child. I was oh, really surprised to know that, unlike Frisk, they were conscious. They were conscious their entire time as a soul. They saw and heard what I did. Everything. Mm. I guess that's the difference between humans and monsters. <laughs> We made a decision to pay the old king a visit. So, walking through Judgment Hall felt kind of good for once. Maybe it was because, like Gasta said, I was in good company. But the, the feeling didn't last. Because, honestly, there was still someone who hadn't bit the dust. Scratch that. Two people. Who had somehow gotten their hands on the souls with the demon's determination and the flower's body. But to be honest, it wasn't something we had to consider. At least between Frisk and I. <laughs> Metaton's body is still undergoing repair. But hey, he's as obnoxious as usual. I'm fabulous. Look, the barrier's broken now because Frisk chose to fight for us. For that freedom. If that doesn't prove their innocence, I don't know what does. Hey, old monster kid. What's up, buddy? You find any trust, you guys? And so do I! Can Frisk come play with me later? Not everyone was as trusting, obviously. <laughs> time. Great job, Sans. Great job. We all recovered to face a new world. <laughs>